There's a push for more accurate screening tests and clearer GP guidelines for prostate cancer after new research revealed a 276% increase in the number of men being diagnosed. According to the Cancer Council New South Wales, the prostate cancer diagnosis rate has risen more than any other cancer type during the last two decades. And to discuss this further, I'm joined now by prostate cancer expert, Associate Professor David Smith. Professor Smith, thanks very much for your time on Newsday. Yeah, talk us through what's believed to be behind the surge. Is it, is it more effective testing? Well, it is. We've seen, uh, as you say, a 276% increase in the diagnosis of prostate cancer over the last 20 years. Now, in that 20 years, the prostate-specific antigen test, which is the blood test that's commonly used to uh, diagnose prostate cancer, has been introduced. And we're almost entirely sure that that uh, the large increase is because of better testing or more, more testing of men for prostate cancer. Now, is this a good thing? Surely um, this means that you know, tests are working and more people are being identified? Well, it's a good thing that men now know that they have prostate cancer and can deal with it appropriately. But a lot of men are never going to be, uh, have their lives shortened by a diagnosis of prostate cancer. And probably the bad thing that's occurred in the last 20 years is that a lot of men are probably having, uh, will have had treatment for prostate cancer that never would have killed them. Uh, and they've been uh, put, put under or had side effects relating to treatment that, uh, that caused them quality of life effects. Is there any way to put a figure on the number of men that might be having um, quite radical treatment unnecessarily? Well, I think we're seeing a shift now. So the good news is that more men are not having that radical therapy and that active surveillance, which is really a, a regime or a management approach that means that men uh, are monitored rather than having surgery or radiotherapy. That occurs more now than I think we've seen in the last 20 years. So overwhelmingly, this has to be seen as a, a good story, that more people are being diagnosed and that hopefully now uh, that uh, our testing is uh, becoming uh, more sophisticated and, um, and response to uh, positive tests is surely uh, becoming a bit more reserved. Well, well, the good part of this story is that we've seen a decline in mortality from prostate cancer. So over the 21, uh, the 20 years, we've seen about a 27% decline in mortality. So things are working. We probably as a, as a result of earlier detection of some prostate cancers, but probably more, uh, we're getting better at treating prostate cancer. What would your advice be to people who are looking at this research and thinking, well, hang on, um, if I'm diagnosed, what, you know, what, what advice do I take and who should I see? Well, firstly, the advice is, to, is probably to men who are just normal men who haven't been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And the advice is to have a chat with your GP about prostate cancer. Have a good chat, 10 or 15 minutes at least, about prostate cancer, about prostate cancer testing and what might occur if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer. And to the men who've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, again, talk about the options that you have for treatment. Uh, they're often individually tailored based upon man's own preferences uh, and, and how, he, how he views potential side effects, complications and survival benefits as well. Associate Professor David Smith, I do thank you very much for your time on Newsday today. Thanks very much.